hello everyone again this is dr pam welcome to my youtube channel and today i have a special episode i am talking about scholarships scholarships to travel up abroad <laughs> traveling to usa to uk to germany to australia and also um other kind of visas those ones i'm just gonna mention but today specifically i'm talking about scholarships and i'm going to share down there <clears throat> i'm gonna share the schools that are african or international friendly so i've done my research and and everything i'm talking about today you can actually find it online it's free for you you can google scholarships uh, for international students and Google and study and do your own research. This is a version of what I googled and, and researched for you so that it's easier for you to get them and go there. You don't have to look which school it is because I have the schools labeled and lined down there for you. Just you read. I'm going to share it down there. One thing I have to comment before, um, I, co uh, before I continue, share my YouTube channel subscribe to my youtube channel i have more videos so that said um there's many uh, many visas that people search to come to either usa uk whatever you want to go but i'm um, today i'm going to talk about mostly usa because that's where i am and the first um visa is a b1 b2 which is a visitor's visa those are people like me mamas like me who want to travel abroad and those ones either somebody has to invite you or you have to come um you know somebody has to send you a letter you have to have an invitation we have another one called a j1 visa whereby um people come especially professionals come to further their studies and have to go back home and it is strict you have to finish whatever time you're given and then you travel back home but they give you a grace period of two years after you finish uh, your college or your studies they give you a, a two-year grace period and then those two years you have to organize yourself and go back um they have another one called f1 mostly those are students undergraduate or postgraduate or you know phd students it's called an f1 visa for those students um they come here the international students and uh, uh they they apply and, and they come as students international students we also have tourists and um for tourists you just come to visit people want to come to disney world people want to go to you know come the people have money who just want to come and bring their kids for vacation and that is the one that they they use um um the next one is called um a 90 day a 90 day fiance visa that's very common you've seen um they have like a show <clears throat> a show called a 90 day fiance fiance visa um it, it is also there and it works it works people know each other on the internet and you know they invite each other I and mean, people travel um so that is another one so for today now i'm going to focus on f1 student visa for undergraduate kids who finish high school for um graduate school masters and for phd mostly i'll talk about the undergrad and the, uh, the masters uh, students so all this information is online i'm telling you this information is online you can check it but um that said anything you want if you want to travel you want to go abroad you want to do whatever you want to do it is all in your mind if you want it so bad you will get it whether you have a way or you don't have a way that is one point i have to put it clear for you whether you 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 like it or not if you want to travel you will travel and um that is how it is so let me go to um what are the requirements what are the requirements and i'm gonna come to scholarships i'm just gonna go quickly for the preparation for you to travel or to get a visa you know people get stuck there just there so what do you need to do first of all go online identify the school i'm going to share the school identify the school you want to travel to 
<clears throat> check all the requirements they need birth certificate uh they need um, um you know passport they need recommended recommendation letters recommendation letters these ones have to come from a professional get somebody you know let them write good stuff about yourself you they have to write nice stuff maybe professionals doctors lawyers you know somebody who really knows you maybe your professor in high school in in college somebody who really knows you they can write good stuff about you so those are the recommendation those recommendations i'm telling you they read them here in usa they read those recommendations so make sure that whoever is writing for you the, the letter for recommendation they do a good job so that those recommendations they might need two or three recommendation letters from somebody also make sure that that somebody who has to write those recommendations they have an email and there are people who are reliable. If they send them an email or they, they call them, they will answer those emails. Because if you get somebody from the forest to write for you a recommendation with a fake email, if they send that email, they will not receive that email. So it's not legit. So get somebody who has an email, nice clean email, let them send that recommendation letter. Because nowadays, most applications are done online although there are schools that give paper but most of the applications for scholarship for admission f1 students they are online so everything is done online i'm telling you it's easy if you can spend three four hours five hours online on facebook on youtube on instagram on whatever tw twitter you can spend time for your future to do research for your future so it is not that the information is not there the information is there you have to take time spend time read i'm going to share the schools read about those scholarships so as i said letter of recommendations the other thing that is very important it attests that most people do it is called sat or toefl those are the two there's another one called IETS, but mostly I know TOEFL and SAT. Those ones, I remember a long time ago before I came to USA, I had, I came as a visitor, but I had already, I was preparing myself. I always say preparation, 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 plus opportunity equals success. So make sure you prepare yourself. Even that TOEFL, you do it. And down here, after I complete all the preparation requirements, I'm going to give you the TOEFL, especially the Kenyans, Nairobi, the TOEFL center or the center where you can learn and they can give you all this information I'm giving you. I did research for you. <laughs> okay, so the other thing is that uh, you have to make sure you look at the deadlines, the, the deadlines, deadlines for application. Most of the schools, they start in September. So make sure you know there are some deadlines in May, in June, July. So make sure you meet the deadlines. And another th very important thing, make sure you complete all the instructions given, all the paperwork they ask you, whatever they're asking you. Make sure you write it, make sure you complete it 100%. If you don't know, take another person to help you. If you don't understand, get your cousin, somebody you think that they, they know something, sit down with them, answer those questions one by one, one by one. If you something you don't understand, ask somebody. So when you complete, the people in that school, they know that this person is serious because they have a specific person, a specific person for international student. Every university, every university has that. The, every university has a, an international student counselor for all international students so that means that every school can give scholarships but there are some schools which give more scholarship or who are international student friendly those are the ones i'm gonna share today so the ones in nairobi the ones who are gonna watch from nairobi they have an educational advising center in nairobi i got it for you guys and this educational um advising center P.O. Box 606 Village Market, Nairobi, 00621. The phone number is 254 
the website is k e you have to put h t t p s k e u s e u s embassy dot g o v education dash culture stroke education i'm gonna share all this down here they are on twitter they are on facebook and they're on twitter so you can follow them okay so those are the requirements that they need you to 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 preparation 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 is so important um i have i i labeled all these things for you in this school in this uh, center uh in nairobi they have these are the things that they offer in the center advising it's an advising center they will teach you how to use to access internet they will teach you if you don't know because sometimes not all of us have computers sometimes you don't have computer and if you don't have computer in this center that i've given you and i'm going to share their link and i'm going to share their number they will advise you they will give you a uh, access to computer or internet how to use internet how to apply they will give you dvts uh dv dvds they will give you uh catalogs of schools that are international friendly they would um, organize uh for higher education uh for usa and other countries they would recommend for you if you for example, if you are admitted to a school in the USA, they would recommend for you which is the best place to stay or to sleep. They would also assist you in institutions that they have partnered with. So they have, let me tell you something before I forget. I was shocked because we have, the lady, I was shocked because we have even high schools, equity. You know, there's something they call equity. I wrote it down yesterday. It is called it is so hot out here, guys. I'm sweating. It is called... I wrote it down for you. It is called... Uh, it is called what? I think it's equity or... Yeah, it is called equity scholarships. Those are for high schools. The, uh, for high schools um, students. And it is it is uh, based in Nairobi. I was... I was I was surprised. It's called Equity Group Foundation in Nairobi, Kenya. Equity Group Foundation, Nairobi, Kenya. Go check it. Some of you have high school students. Oh my God, it's so hot out here. All of you have, some of you have high school students. Go check that equity and make sure that uh, if you have a student who is very smart, they have those um they have those foundation scholarships which is pay, which is based in Kenya okay so that is that for that i didn't want to forget about that so we've talked about that let me see the next thing i'm going to talk about is um uh, i've talked about the visa scholarship uh the requirements let me look at the requirements i wrote it somewhere here um the requirements oh uh, no let me go to let me go to uh yeah let me go straight up to one of the, the the biggest um one of the biggest sponsor of school scholarships in usa that i know is called mastercard foundation mastercard foundation it sponsors uh, it's it sponsors graduates and undergraduates it doesn't sponsor phd students it uh sponsors graduates and uh undergraduates um one of the requirements for admission is that you need to be a, a, a an african citizen so you can't be in america you cannot be in america to to go to that school so being a citizen of sub-saharan africa excel uh, in uh, uh, academically in school, having demonstrated you will give back to the community. So when you are going to write all your letters, they better indicate that you are going to be you are going to give back to the community. That is very important. Um, another thing is that coming from economically disadvantaged disadvantaged background, 
having demonstrated that you have intention to go back to Africa, uh, th those are the, the, the four ones. Being a citizen of Sub-Saharan, coming, uh, being academically excellent, having demonstrated you will be going back to Africa, coming from a disadvantaged background. So those are the ones for the MasterCard Foundation. And all this information, I'm going to share it for you. It's so hard, guys. <laughs> so next is... Um, the, we have two universities that are very good with the MasterCard Foundation. Michigan State University. I live in Michigan. It's like an hour from here. Michigan State University is one of them and Buckley University in California. Those are the two universities that are very uh, African friendly. So um, um, those are the two. And in those two, they like to sponsor issues affecting women, Co uh, issues affecting the community. Issues affecting the community. Example is corruption, female genital mutilation, or women issues, disability, gay and lesbian. So those are those are the few that I, I just got that um, issues that affect the community. Let me get, if you can wait, let me get something here quickly. So these are the degrees that <clears throat> those, um, the MasterCard Foundation, they offer degrees in business administration. They offer degrees in, in uh, engineering, all types of engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, environmental engineering, um, city planning and region, city and regional planning, education, journalism. Um, public health, information management and systems, and social welfare. That's like a social worker. So those are the in, the degrees that they, they support, this scholarship support. Those are the few that the MasterCard, I'm talking about the MasterCard, which is at Michigan State University, MSU, or uh, Berkeley University. So those are some of the degrees that they they uh, offer for undergraduate and postgraduate and, or, or graduate school. Okay, guys, also we have this MasterCard. I'm still talking about MasterCard Foundation. They have schools. Actually, they give scholarship schools inside Africa. So you can start, you can study a school inside Africa and still get a scholarship. So these scholarships are, you can still study them. Most of the schools are not in, I didn't find any school in Kenya. But most schools are either in South Africa or in Ghana. One of the schools is African Leadership Academy, American University of Beirut, Ashesi University College, Kwame Nkrumah of, of, Kwame Nkrumah of Science and Technology in Ghana, University of Abome, University of Cape Town, University of Pretoria, University of uh, Goda, G O N D A R, University of Eb Ebidenberg and Berkeley University, uh, which is USA, Michigan State University, and Arizona State University. So the three universities, uh, I didn't mention Arizona State University, is one of the universities in USA. So in USA is Berkeley, B-E-R-K-E-L-E-Y in California, Michigan State University in Michigan, and Arizona State University. So those are the three universities that the MasterCard Foundation that supports and offers. So that 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 one said. So let me see anything about MasterCard Foundation that I haven't mentioned. Okay. After I, I checked on MasterCard Foundation, I also checked other universities that are not related with the MasterCard Foundation, with the three universities, Michigan State University or um, Berkeley University or 
Arizona University. There are other universities that I found that give scholarship up to 68,000 or 67,000. Columbia University, Duke University, North, uh, Duke University in North Carolina, uh, Amherst College in Massachusetts, William College in Massachusetts, Ponoma College, Trinity College, Stanford University. So those are other colleges that give scholarships. Those are other college, uh, co colleges that give uh, scholarships that are not MasterCard Foundation scholarships. There's also a university in, in New York called New York University, NYU, that specifically offers scholarships in cyber security, cyber security. So that one also is 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 uh um is 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 uh, in New York, okay. So those are the top ones that I've given you: Stanford University, Wesley University, also in Massachusetts. There is also a set of um other universities that I also another second set of universities that also are African friendly. Uh. Be, Berea University, Clark University, Columbia College University, Concord University. It is called Concord College. I know of a girl who goes to Concord. She um she's she she comes for holidays in my friend's um house here. Uh, she's from Zimbabwe. She goes to Concord free. Her parents had died. She got a free scholarship to Concord University. Uh, there's another one called Dart Dartmouth University, East Tennessee State University. That's where one of my nephews uh, got a scholarship uh, this year, actually came to this year university, to this year, free scholarships. They went to their school. Uh, there's Emory College, there's Illinois University, there's University of Iowa, and also Michigan State University is also um, in, in this category. University. Uh, University of West also has, that is another bunch of universities that offer free scholarship to international students. So you see that we have a lot of them. We do have a lot of them. Um, other than that, also, we have other universities that are not U in USA that also offer scholarships. Um, we have, uh, I wrote them down here for you. We have Venia, Venia in Canada. It offers also uh, scholarships. Uh, we have Rhodes Scholarship in Oxford University in UK. We also have Helm, Helmut uh, Scholarships in Germany. We have International Water Center Scholarships for international students. It's in Australia. We have Australian Awards. awards scholarship the deadline was june 3rd it's not open right now but it's gonna be open soon i think it's because of covid19 we have westminster international postgraduate full scholarship in uk and we have herbert Humphrey fellowship for international students in usa that's another one so those are for international, not only USA, but the one I said was one in Canada, one in UK, one in Germany, three in Australia, another one in UK, and another one in USA. So those are also international um, scholarships for specifically people in Africa. We also have scholarships not for entities, I mean, scholarship not for school. No, they are for students, but they they are not school. It, you apply for that scholarship, and that institution will give you the scholarship. Then it will be applied to the school where you are going. So I got three in the USA, and I got some other international scholarships. There is one called Margaret McNamara Education Grant. It's in USA. Margaret McNamara Education Grants is in USA. School Bagger Foundation is in USA. Women Tech Markers, like Technology Tech Markers, is also 
another one in USA. These are institutions that give scholarships to students in university. So these are not universities, the three I mentioned. Other international institutions is joint, joint Japan World Bank graduate scholarships. That's another one. For These are now for international. Joint Japan World Bank graduate scholarships. American Association University Women, that's a, a, that's a entity that gives scholarships specifically to women. And then there's also Aga Khan Foundation International Scholarship. So the three are international. I've given so much information. But you know, the thing is this, you can go back and listen to it and, and, and then write it down. It's easier on YouTube than it is easier on Facebook. So I have given that. Um, I've given that. So to sum this up, this is how I'm going to sum it up. Whatever you want to do, guys, whatever you want to do, as you watch this video, God did not bring you to watch this video for nothing. Anybody can succeed in anything they want to do. In any field, anybody, if you want to travel, you'll travel. This information, you didn't get it for nothing because God brought you to this information for a reason. If you want to travel, if you want to get scholarships if you want to get international student scholarships you will get them but you will not get them for free you have to take time you have to take time instead of spending time on youtube instead of spending time watching people's success watching music all day long you can take a little time go to the internet i'm going to share these schools down here go to the internet google search get all the information Get the right people to help you and you will succeed. I promise you, you will succeed because I am a success story. I'm a success story. You will succeed. So take your time, go to the internet, check whatever you need to check. Google the schools. I'm going to share the schools and you will be successful. I shared a lot of schools. I'm going to write some of them down here and you will check them and you will follow. So for those of you who are not students, there is also there is hope for you too. Because even if you are not a student, I yesterday I listened to this lady who was saying that she was an, a class 8 student. She finished class 8 at her house. Was, her house was burned down. So she ended up, um, she ended up not finishing going high school. But as I talked to you, she went to Europe and she's successful. She, she's doing what she loves to do and she's giving back. So whatever your situation is, whether you were born in a poor, you know, household, you cannot, this is my thing, you cannot choose where you're born, but you can choose your destiny. You can choose to stay where you are. But if you decide to get from where you are to a better future, to a better destiny, you will do it. Everything is in your hands. Everything is in your mind. Put it in your mind. Associate with the right people. Preparation, preparation, prepare yourself. And ask for help. Ask for guidance. And take your time to do it. There are people who, as soon as you, you mention something, before even they do any research, they want to ask, can you help me? Nobody has time to go to do for you application. You have to do it yourself. You have to take them. If you can spend time in the internet, on Facebook, three, four hours on Facebook, click in Facebook all the time, all the time. You can spend time to do research. You can spend time to apply for international students. You can spend time to apply, know how you can come as a visitor. You can spend time to do more. So if you need have any questions, you can ask me down there. I can answer them. 
uh other than that i'll come also facebook live i have done this show in july 2020 so it's applicable for now two three years to come i don't know if it's going to be applicable the schools i'm talking are now applying you can apply now in two three years i don't know if they will be viable but for now this information is viable for 2020 thank you so much and be blessed keep sharing keep subscribing to dr pam obare uh comment below give me comments below let me know what you think thank you and be blessed